She says in 2009, she met a man called Mark Johns, who told her he was an immunologist and neurologist, though no record of him exists. He had come to my home and went through a series of tests, and this was dubbed integrative medicine. So he comes to your home and he does some tests on you? Mm, he does. How do, what sort of tests? It was a box, a machine with lights on the front, and that machine was apparently German technology. You, there's a, two pads, two metal pads, one that goes below the chair and one that goes behind your back, and then that measures what I believe or remember to be frequencies. And what were the results? He said to me that I had a stage four brain tumour and that I had approximately four months to live. Okay, Chase, what do you got? All right, so let's talk about her language really quick. She starts off with past perfect language. I had driven to the store to pick up milk byproduct, for example. That's past perfect. When I say I had done something, I had done this, it had been a long day. The interviewer brilliantly forces her back into present tense language by asking her a present tensing question and it works immediately. She then shifts from present back to past and while she's talking with that, she has uncertainty and a request for approval. And then back to present moment again. So we have some timeline mix-ups. So finally, the one thing I saw that deviated from her baseline was an immediate mouth closure after a statement. Uh, Mark, what do you got? Yeah. So she, what she's trying to do here is use authority to trick us, to con us into going, oh, OK, I, I get why this would have happened. And she uses the authority of German technology, OK, which is a classic idea of, well, if it's German, then it's really good. And of course, I'd be conned and and anybody would accept this. So just remember that when anybody ever goes, OK, German technology, that is not a moment for you to doff your cap and go, OK, German technology, because, yes, they invented the printing press and the hole punch and the MP3 player and electron microscopes. But they also invented the Grumlauf, which was a gun that would shoot around corners. It didn't work very well. There's lots of German technology that's really good and lots of ge the German technology that's really bad. Just because somebody says German technology doesn't mean you should go, OK, stop the interview, stop the interrogation. They were using German technology. It's all cool. Uh, Greg, what do you got on this one? Well, let's take it a step further. A random doctor who's going door to door with German technology. That's the weirdest part of the whole thing. You're like, what the hell is she talking about? Uh, if you look at her baseline, if you go watch any other video, she moves her hands. She talks like a normal person. She doesn't here. She's rigid and waiting for the opportunity to do that plug in again, like a borderline personality kind of person would. At dubbed integrative medicine, her chin drops to protect her throat. Her eyes squint and narrow. She shifts language to disclaim, I believe. And then she lilts up at frequency. She does some really bad for a second there, fake emotion, and it's really, really bad. There's no lip compression. There's none of that. There's no withholding. She's just blowing out what she thinks will make you feel guilty or bad because you challenged her about this German technology. Scott, what do you got? All right. And when she starts, we can really tell if you didn't know she was lying and you, and you just watched this one time through and came back, you'd notice every time she starts, she's lying, just bald face lying. She goes, does the up speak at the end? It was a box. Da, 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 and she gets really still. And again, another thing is, and going back to the thing about illustrators, Chase, was, oh, or was it Greg? Whoever was talking about illustrators. Her illustrators are, she's using them at a pretty good pace. When she's talking about that, she talks about the box and that's it. If you're describing something somebody did to you, I've, we've all been into the doctor and go, dude, they took this thing and stuck it down my throat and it was, or stuck it in my ear. And I was, you get, you get more physical with that. You'll be, you'll be demonstrating more as you, as you go through with the illustrator. So she would have gone back to her back and said, there's a thing of the chair and I had a thing in the back. 
I believe she would have been uh, given more than that. So the more the more she lies, you're right, Greg. The the, the less she uses her illustrators, and the quieter she gets, the, the more still she gets. And listen for that up speak because we're going to see it throughout this. When she goes back and starts talking about this again later, when she runs into another cat who has the same kind of box to do tests on it, another doctor who has the same equipment, she does the same thing. So. She says in 2009, she met a man called Mark Johns, who told her he was an immunologist and neurologist, though no record of him exists. He had come to my home and went through a series of tests, and this was dubbed integrative medicine. So he comes to your home and he does some tests on you? Mm, he does. How do, what sort of tests? It was a box, a machine with lights on the front, and that machine was apparently German technology. You, there's a, two pads, two metal pads, one that goes below the chair and one that goes behind your back, and then that measures what I believe or remember to be frequencies. And what were the results? <sighs> he said to me that I had a stage four brain tumour and that I had approximately four months to live. If you like this video, get the full body language breakdown and analysis on our main channel by clicking this video right here.